The deer herds of Richmond and Bushy Parks are very much part of the iconic imagery of these magnificent royal parks in southwest London, attracting as they do millions of visitors every year to come and observe the deer in their natural environment, less than 10 miles from the centre of London. But we do ask visitors to observe a couple of golden rules regarding their interactions with the deer, especially in terms of maintaining their own personal safety and also for the welfare of the animals. First, we ask visitors to maintain a distance of 50 metres between themselves and the deer. The close proximity of people to deer can cause stress to the animals. and When deer are stressed, they can behave in quite an aggressive and unpredictable fashion. We should always remember that these are wild animals and their behaviour is conditioned very much by the natural environment in which they live. Second, we ask people not to feed the deer. Deer are herbivores, their diet is comprised of the abundant vegetation around the park. Indeed the appearance of these parks is very much determined by the deer feeding habits and deer numbers are managed so as not to cause overgrazing. As browsing herbivores, the diet of deer tends to consist of things like new tree growth, young plants, saplings, acorns, chestnuts and some fruits and these are very abundant in both parks. The only time of year where they might need a helping hand is during winter where there may be less food available or it may be more difficult to get at and during the winter season hay is provided for them but for the rest of the year they do not need any supplementation to their diets especially things like sandwiches and crisps and biscuits. A further aspect of visitors feeding their deer is that it can alter their natural instincts and their behaviour and they become what we call socialised, too reliant on food from visitors so that they start to lose some of their natural instincts and their foraging for finding food. Where deer do become reliant on food from visitors, this can weaken the herd as well as also reducing their resistance to disease and illness. In addition, feeding their deer can cause deer to become quite aggressive towards people actually feeding them. Um, deer are very persistent animals and once someone starts feeding them they can soon find themselves surrounded and this can indeed be a very intimidating experience. So please enjoy viewing these beautiful animals in their natural setting but do so at a safe distance and whatever you do don't feed the deer.